Good evening and a very warm welcome to my thought for the day on this Saturday of Easter week. We're going to begin with a prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, meet with us now through your spirit. Remind us of your living presence and risen power. In a world where fear is so strong and hope seems threatened, may your resurrection life flow within us, convincing us of the blessings you hold in store. May that assurance sustain us this night and always. Amen. Now I'm using this time during Easter week to explore with you one of the ancient prayer traditions of the church, an Ignatian prayer practice called the Examine. It's a way of reviewing the day, of giving it over to God. And so in the evening before I sleep, it's been my practice to look for consolation and desolation in the day that's passed. And that means I take a moment to think of one thing that has given me joy, and one thing that's made me sad each day. Today I find myself wanting to thank God for the consolation I found in a particular phrase I read. It was in a blog by Nadia Bolds Weber. She's a Lutheran pastor and I follow her on Twitter. And what she wrote, and, and this stopped me in my tracks, is that hurt people hurt people. Forgiven people forgive people, and loved people love people. The more I thought about it, the more true that seemed. Hurt people hurt people. Forgiven people forgive people, and loved people love people. And I found myself focusing mostly on the last of those, that loved people love people. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm far more comfortable giving love than I am receiving it. Sometimes I find it hard to accept love from others, especially from God, when I don't feel I've done anything to deserve it. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with love that's reciprocal, but love me for me, for everything I am, good and bad, well, that feels tricky. I'd rather earn love. But to be loved unconditionally, well, that's uncomfortable because it brings up all the ways in which I don't feel worthy of it. It reminds me how often I've loved poorly or not at all. But my consolation today is that I know deep down that Nadir is right. That loved people do indeed love people. And after all, Easter shows me that I am loved without condition by God. And part of the purpose of our lives is to discover that only by allowing ourselves to receive God's love can we in turn become loving to those around us. And it seems to me that's exactly what the world needs right now. And then we come to the desolation an opportunity to bring to God our bewilderment, our sadness, a chance to acknowledge what's wrong in the world. So let's come to prayer, let us pray. Loving God, this night we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Be with those who are sick and dying. May they know the warmth and strength of your love. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may all rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And to finish a prayer of blessing, 
May the peace of the loving God be with you. May the love of the Lord Jesus embrace you. May the power of the Holy Spirit uphold and inspire you. And may the blessing of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be upon you this night and remain with you always. Amen.